uh, good morning to all continuing with the chapter of suspension one more factor uh, for preparation of suspension is uh, uh, knowing the settling in uh, suspension which is also called as sedimentation okay uh, it is uh, if we see practically it is not possible to prevent sedimentation or settling of particles completely okay for a prolonged period of time matlab we can uh, delay that settling of the particles but not for a longer period of time so we have to know the factors which are influencing the rate of sedimentation so that we can work on this and uh, delay the sedimentation rate so Uh, the rate of sedimentation is basically given by stokes law in which it says that the rate of settling of the average particle is uh, given in centimeter per second okay is directly proportional to the diameter of the particle that is diameter square of the particle in centimeters then it is also directly uh, proportional to the rho that is density which is given as of the dispersed phase okay and that means the particles and of the dispersion medium okay so uh, how much is the uh, what we say viscosity or thickness the density okay the weight then it is also directly proportional as the particles are under the influence of uh, gravity so it is directly proportional to the acceleration due to gravity uh, divided by the value 18 and inversely proportional to the viscosity of the dispersion medium which is given in poise okay so it says that the rate of sedimentation can be increased okay you can uh, improve the sedimentation by increasing the viscosity of the dispersion medium okay so it is inversely proportional so this is the diagram which they have shown in which the particles are first suspended and then later on they sediment and they form two different layers of sediment and a supernatant okay uh, if you see this equation it said that it is not applicable to the diluted suspensions in which there is no not more than 2% of the particles okay then uh, uh, your uh, this law or the stokes law suggests that there are three factors right as we can see in the uh, formula also the particle size the density and the viscosity of the dispersion medium so if i want to decrease the rate of uh, uh, sedimentation so that the rate can be with respect to time our uh, rate is always with respect to time so if i want to reduce the rate of sedimentation that the particles will settle after a long time if i want to do that the particle size should be also small okay both the phases uh, that is your dispersed phase and the dispersion medium should have a uh, equal density so that they can be together they, uh, and the viscosity of the dispersion medium should be high okay further uh, moving on to the other parameters of sedimentation stability problem or we say physical stability it is basically we have to take uh, uh, we have to monitor or control so that the particles remain uniformly distributed throughout the dispersion okay that means we cannot avoid settling completely right but we can have we can understand certain factors as we have seen which is going to affect the velocity of sedimentation okay then the uh, so we have seen the particle size if there is a bigger particle size they will really settle faster if they are smaller they will remain suspended for a uh, appreciable time okay we can uh, uh, call, we can uh, reduce the particle size by using motor and pestle okay so that you can reduce the uh, particle size but it was also seen that if you reduce a particle size to a very finer extent there is a chances that they will start coming together the particles and will uh, settle down to form a hard cake 
at the bottom of the container which is actually not uh, we are not able to redisperse it back okay so here we can have a uh, we can uh, we have the other method of uh, seeing the sedimentation is we can uh, determine the rate of sedimentation okay so as you can see here so it is basically uh, the ratio we say the rate of sedimentation is a ratio of this ultimate matlab the initial okay okay the ultimate height that is after sedimentation and the original height so this uh, uh, after sedimentation the volume which remains divided by this total okay will give you some value suppose it is uh, suppose the sedimentation is around uh, uh, initially it's very slow so if it is 9.8 so maybe it is 9.8 divided by this whole this is 10 ml suppose so 9.8 divided by 10 can be the sedimentation ratio okay and this can give you uh, when you plot them against the time that means it gives you a rate okay so the rate of settling of dispersed particles so the value which you get is either 1 less than 1 greater than 1 so when we say if your value is greater than 1 that means the uh, sediment volume the sedimentation which has taken place is greater than the original volume okay so this uh, uh, how does this happen is uh, the particles they uh, they come together but they are very loosely uh net uh, loose, loosely connected to each other to form a network okay and those loose particles are called as flocks okay so they come together and they are loosely connected to each other so they become very fluffy so there is lot of void spaces in between so there is a network and they are void spaces filled so they increase the volume then the initial volume so that you get the value as uh, sedimentation volume as 1 okay then uh, uh, we can also conclude that if there is a larger volume that means what happens the rate of sedimentation is slower okay they will not sediment very easily the the flocule which are connected very loosely they will remain in the suspended form for a longer period of time so aapka rate of sedimentation will be also slower and you can achieve a higher stability of suspension okay but if they are partly now they are forming loose flocks so we say it is a flocculated suspension but if it is uh, not completely flocculated so the larger is the ratio the greater is the degree of flocculation of the particles then further moving now the particles uh, it's been seen that having a diameter of around 2 to 5 micrometers so basically we have to understand that the particle is under the influence of gravitational force so the diameter of about 2 to 5 micrometer there is a brownian movement con con constantly movement which can counteract sedimentation to a measurable extent at room temperature okay by keeping the dispersed material in random motion so we can have the particles which are uh, falling because of gravitational force can be neutralized by having a brownian movement in which they are moving at a room temperature so here basically uh, here what we are expecting that the suspension uh, should not sediment very quickly okay uh, if it even if it settles down it should not form a hard cake the 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 flocks which are being formed they should be easily redispersed on gentle shaking okay or flowing uh, the they should have a sufficient viscosity ki when you pour it aise water ki tarah girna nahi chahiye so it should have a sufficient viscosity also okay and they the particle should remain suspended till i take it on the spoon for consuming the drug or administering the drug uh, when i am expecting from an external application topical application the particle should not be felt on the surface uh, when i am using